In this video, I'm discussing seven famous people with autism. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to give this page a like and a follow to see daily videos from me. In this video, guys, I'm discussing some famous people that people probably didn't even know had an autism spectrum condition, and so I'm super pumped to get this done. So let's start. Hey guys, before I do anything in the video, I just like to read out questions from you that you sent me over on Instagram. So if you want me to read out your comment like this and be featured in a video like this, make sure to head over to Instagram, give me a follow and turn the notifications on so you get alerted when I ask you to ask me questions and you might be featured in a video just like this. Okay, so let's go through the questions. So the first question here is from Daniel Sear uh, underscore five and they said, good stimming toys. The best stimming toys is a fidget spinner and a clicks. My clicks is one of my favorite fidget toys. Um, I'll try and leave a link for them in the description below if I can remember, but if not, just check it out, clicks is the name of this toy, it's amazing. Okay, so the next comment here is from Sentry Box Co, and they said, how are you enjoying your Sentry Toy Box? I am loving my Sentry Toy Box, and uh, I love it so much, so there's, I did a video review of the Sentry Toy Box, so I'll try and leave it in a card above here so you guys can see it, and you can buy your own one as well. Okay, the next question here is from Mrs. Crystal underscore Pope, and they said, autism in babies, my 10 year old is diagnosed. What are early signs to look for in nine month old, in my nine month old? I guess early signs are like, flapping hands, um, not like responding to names, um, continuing to do flappy hands when there's no reason for it. It's so, like looking for stimming basically. Um, and uh, it's slow in development is another one as well. So a lot of people who are autistic, uh, when they're younger, they're slower developing than you know typical neurotypical kids. Okay guys, oh, I'm so pumped. I, I like did a video ages ago about like people who had like autism and who were famous and it was really good. I loved the video, I had fun, but I feel like I wanted to do like more that I didn't cover then and there's been like way more that I've read about and found out about that uh, you know I didn't even know it existed that had autism it was super super crazy so here goes nothing here are seven celebrities or famous people uh, who have autism that you probably didn't even know so the first one I'm super excited about is a guy called Satoshi Tajiri and he is the guy who created Pokemon uh, now he's been uh, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome which is what my diagnosis was and now it's changed to autism spectrum disorder, not Asperger's syndrome, but it's the same thing. Um, his colleagues have described him as being reclusive and eccentric, uh, but the Unreal Brain is the mastermind behind one of the highest grossing franchises of all time, as we know as Pokemon. Um, this is really interesting because Pokemon is like one of my like favorite things ever. And a friend of mine, Anna Moomin, who's also got a channel called Anna Moomin, um, she uh, is an autistic female uh, and uh, a YouTuber, but she also was obsessed and is obsessed with Pokemon, and I love Pokemon, right? And most of my friends friends who are on the spectrum love Pokemon. And it's really funny that the guy who created it is on the spectrum. So it's like, well, it makes sense that we'd all love Pokemon. I mean, like, that's super cool. Okay guys, number two. This one's a relatively new one, um, but super impacting right now. This is Greta Thunberg. Now, uh, Greta is a uh, an activist, a climate activist from uh, Europe. She is like killing it right now. Loads of activism. She just like sailed across like some ocean somewhere to like prove a point that she could do it. And she said that she was using Asperger's as her um, uh, superpower, which is awesome, because that's what we talk about on this channel with my like, superhero fan base. And like all of that stuff, is super, super dope, but she's also leading the world climate change um, efforts to kind of save the planet. This woman is just unreal. She's super young as well. I think she's like maybe like 18, 19, really influential. She's taken it like a boss. She gets loads of criticism, and I think she's a very inspirational person. Definitely check her out. And if you'd like to see a video just on Greta Thunberg, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I can know if you want me to do a video just on her. That'd be super, super awesome. Okay, number three is an interesting one because this came out um, about, a year ago, a guy called Chris Packham, who is a very famous TV presenter a personality over here in the United Kingdom. Uh, and Chris is really into like wildlife, I think, like that. I think that's his thing. He like wildlife documentaries and like nature and things like that. And so he does all that kind of stuff. But anyway, he came out as saying he had an autism spectrum diagnosis and it was really cool because like the, the country just greeted him with open 
arms. And it was a, this fascinating experience. And he does a lot of work with the National Autistic Society, who I also do some work with, which is where this plaque behind me here is from. And uh, yeah, I think Chris is a really cool guy. He's doing a lot of cool stuff for the um, community. And it's nice to see people in like, you know, big high up kind of like professional jobs like that on the spectrum. And, and it kind of helps you feel like you can achieve those goals, right? I think that's awesome. We all need role models. Number four is Susan Boyle, good old Subo. So Susan Boyle, if you don't know, was a competition winner from something called X Factor, which was a British television show uh, created by uh, Psycho Media. And it was aired on ITV, which is like a, a channel over here in the United Kingdom. For years and years, um, you know, people just thought Subo was super odd and she was like a bit different from, you know, your average person. And um, yeah, everyone kind of judged her for what she did and her actions and stuff like that. But then it turns out that she said she had Asperger's syndrome and everyone was kind of like, oh, this kind of makes sense why she's so kind of like uniquely quirky and all that kind of cool stuff. And um, yeah, she's just very inspirational because like she's a, a very, very successful singer. She was like very focused on singing. She's got a fantastic voice um, and she works really, really hard. So again, for young ladies, uh, you know, who are wanting to get into like creative aspects who are on the spectrum, just like a Susan Boyle, man, this woman did it. You know, she's living the dream and she has that kind of like, you know, slumdog millionaire like uh, story to it. I, I think it's amazing and she's very influential. So thank you, Sue Boyle, for being super awesome. Okay, guys, number five, very interesting. This one is Sir Anthony Hopkins. Now, Anthony Hopkins is an American actor um, and he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome because his wife said something like um, she was trying to figure out who she was married to uh, and he credits Asperger's syndrome with making him extremely relentless and trying to get stuff done in his work and um, uh, he says he's an unusually hard worker and he says this is down to his autism spectrum condition but he kind of empowers it, man, and this guy's huge, just like a Hollywood movie star. I mean, just think about it. If you're on the spectrum and you want to get into acting, there's nothing stopping you or holding you back. Certainly Hopkins done it very, very well. And this guy's in some of the biggest movies you'll ever see. But he's a fantastic actor. And this leads me to believe again that like people on the spectrum have this ability to just excel at the things that they really like or they hyper focus on or they love. You know, we all have achievements. And this is something that I really want to get across that we all have the ability to do amazing things and these are just examples. I mean, we're up to five right now, and these are just amazing examples of amazing people who have an autism special condition that is not letting it like stop them doing anything that they want to do. That's amazing. So yeah, definitely take note of that. Okay, so the next person on my list, I actually really enjoy their music, uh, and um, this woman is called Courtney Love. Now, Courtney Love is an American singer and musician. She was actually famously known for marrying Kurt Cobain, uh, or the late Kurt Cobain from the band Nirvana, who were very, very big in the 90s. Unfortunately, Kurt Cobain's deceased, and then uh, Courtney Love uh, continued then to play music um, after their kind of, you know, upset. Uh, so it says here that she was diagnosed at the age of nine, and she struggled when she was like a really young girl who thinks she's had quite a traumatic life, uh, but also having an autism spectrum diagnosis at nine was super interesting. She has a musical uh, talent, obviously. She plays guitar, and she like rocks out. She's very, very creative, and I think she says that she puts that down to being autistic. Like she has this um, really, uh, uh, like, really really full mind of like creative things. I love that, I just love this whole creative aspect. It makes me just feel super warm and super welcomed in this like community. And like, you know, you feel a part of it because I get passionate about stuff and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm so weird. But then I see other autistic people who get passionate about things and I'm just like, yeah, dude, that's dope, I love it. So yeah, Courtney Love, amazingly inspirational. Um, and uh, I just, and her music's awesome. Her band Hole are just so awesome. I really like them. Okay guys, number seven. Now this is the last one on my list and this one came about because I was, um, I did a video last time about famous people and loads of people they, they commented saying, oh, this person has an autism spectrum condition, blah, blah, blah. And so I wanted to check it out. Now, this guy is a musician called Gary Newman. Now, Gary Newman was a musician, a very famous musician from the 70s. He's British and he's always been quite odd and quirky. He's like a glam rock star, I guess, or like alternative, like industrial glam rock. I don't know, I don't know what type of music you call his music, right? But Gary Newman is a super awesome guy. He's got a very unique style. He's got He's very talented, he's very creative, and he just has this like a, a glow about him that's like just super awesome. Now, I love that about Gary Newman, and I love that he really empowers autism. In most interviews, he'll, he'll want to mention his autistic traits, and he'll like say how you know, how much he enjoys being autistic, and, and how he's used that to like fuel his creativity. This guy's super inspirational, and I definitely recommend checking out some speeches or any articles he's written on being autistic, because it's nice to see you know other people coming out and saying, oh, I have an autism special condition but I do this and that because it helps younger people have role models and get inspired. I love it. I just love all this stuff. Guys, that was my list of seven famous people. If you have any to add,
add to this, pop it in a comment down below because I read and respond to every single comment. And I'd love to have that discussion and dialogue with you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, also let me know in the comments section below. But guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.